Hello students, how are you guys doing? Um, you might notice that I look a little different. I finally got a haircut. Um, been waiting to be able to do it for a long time, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, today, we're gonna go over um, uh, next lesson in math. Um, let me share my screen with you, and then we'll get started. So first, our lesson is about generating and identifying patterns. Um, Hopefully by the end you can generate and analyze patterns in rectangular numbers. And our big focus is going to be on what are re rectangular numbers and how do you figure out um, basically how to see patterns in them. So first, pause your video. Look at these um, blocks down here and I want you to try to list all the patterns that you see. So I'll give you a second. List any patterns that you see. Look at the numbers. Look at the um, how they change. Um, all right, so hopefully you've got a list now of different patterns that you've seen in these different blocks. And then we're gonna go over some of them that you might have noticed. First, all of these are rectangles. Might have given it away when I had said that we're gonna go over rectangular numbers, but yes, they're all rectangles. Each array has an even number of cubes. So if we count, let's see if that's true. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's true. They're all even numbers. And each array adds one row and one column. So we have two to start here. We add one and we add another column. One, two, four. Another column on top. That's all true. So rectangular numbers are numbers that can be represented by rectangular arrays. The number of rows and columns increase by one. You may have been thinking these sound very similar to square numbers, and you would be correct. They act um, and are similar to square numbers, but these are rectangular numbers. So square models can also be modeled as shapes. Um, so if we were to uh, look at some of this, we started out with one. Then we'd go to four. nine. So see, square numbers have similar patterns um, and can be drawn by with shapes. Just pretend like those squares are perfect up there. What rule can we use to find square numbers and what patterns do you see in the list of square numbers? So take a second, try to think about it, pause this video, All right, so I'm noticing in these different numbers. So if I were to draw 16, each time I draw one of these numbers, they can be drawn by going two and two. Each of, it's going to have the same number of columns and rows, three, three, four, four. You can also solve this by creating these problems, one times one, two times two, three times three, four times four, and go on if I were to draw 25. So those are some of the patterns you can see from square numbers. Let's see if we can think of any for rectangular numbers. So what multiplication equations can we write to represent these arrays? Think about it for a second. Think about what we need to do to write um, equations for these arrays. Now if you remember array, we're going to count the rows and then the columns. So I see one row and then there's two on top. So we could do one times two, which would get us two. Same thing here. We have two. We have three. 2 times 3 equals 6. 3, 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. I'm already noticing a pattern. This answer was 2. There was 2 cubes in all. And the equation was 2 times 1. One number before it. So we have 6, column of 3, 
two. Two times three equals six. Three times four equals 12. It's always gonna be multiplied by one number right next to it. Following this pattern, what equation can we use to find the fourth and fifth rectangular numbers? Take a second to see if you can follow this pattern to try to solve it. All right, so following this pattern, we went one times two to get the first one, two times three, three times four. I think the next one's gonna be four times five. So if we do four times five, that's gonna get 20. Let's see if that's what we end up with. I did four columns, or no, four rows. I'm gonna do five columns. So if I count all of those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We do end up with 20. So following that pattern, we still got the right answer as the next one. As you can see from the picture, if I had more room, I'd draw five times six, but we would know that the next one would be five times six. We'd end up with 30. And if you did this where you added another row and a column, you would get the same exact thing. So we can also see a pattern when looking at rectangular numbers when we um, try to write uh, addition equations for them. So what do I mean by that? So if we look at the first one, the first rectangular number, we have two squares. We could write that by one plus one equals two. We're gonna start with two. Next one, we add another row and another column. So we're going to end up with six. Two plus four equals six. We added four to it, um, to the original two. We keep going. The next one we know is 12. I think you're going to start to see the pattern emerge as we go through this. Two plus four plus six equals 12 for our third one. So maybe you notice this. Not following the first one, but starting here, see if you can notice a pattern. So next number, we know we're gonna add another column and another row. So I'll end up with four columns, five rows will give us 20. Two plus four plus six plus eight equals 20. If you notice in our additional problems, we're just going up by Count of twos, two, four, six, eight. Next number we would add would be 10, and we would get 30. That would be the next one. After that, you could add 12, and you could get the next rectangular number. So now we've identified two different patterns you can see in rectangular numbers. Multiplying, um, you know, starting out with one times two. Let's line these up really quick. One times two equals two. 2 times 3 equals 6, 3 times 4 equals 12, 4 times 5 equals 20. So there's multiple different ways you can follow the patterns for rectangular numbers. Um, you can use addition or multiplication whenever you're asked to find rectangular numbers. So using all of these patterns that we've learned, I want you to take a second, try to think, if I asked you to find the hundredth number, hundredth rectangular number, how would you do it? What would you need to do?
Take a second to think about it. This is a hard problem. It's okay if you don't get it right away. But I'll show you the pattern you can follow to try to figure out the hundredth um, rectangular number. All right, hopefully that's been enough time. So when we were going through our multiplication steps, if you noticed, the second number was six. We solved that by doing two times three, whatever the next number is. Next one was 12. That was the third rectangular number. We got times three times four. First one was two. We solved that one times two. So that pattern that you see, and you're going one, two, three, is that you multiply whatever number it is times the next number. So like this is the first rectangular number. We did one times two to solve it. This is the second rectangular number. So we took two. We multiplied it by three, the next number in the sequence. We got six. Same thing, three, multiplied it by four to get the next number, 12. Um, so if we're going to take 100. We want to find the hundredth one using this same pattern. We're going to go 100 times 101 to find the hundredth rectangular number. So I'm going to set that up over here. I'm gonna use the traditional American. You can use whatever method you guys want to. Zero, zero, one. Need to add a zero. That's gonna be all zeros. Add two zeros. One, two. The hundredth, now if we add this up, zero. The hundredth rectangular number is 10,000 and 100. You can use the same pattern to find any rectangular number. So this has just been um, a way for us to be able to find patterns in different numbers, but also now you know what a rectangular number is, and now you can solve any rectangular number that you're asked for, whether it's 85, 75, 2. Now you know how to solve and find rectangular numbers. Hope you guys had a great day. Um, thank you guys for stopping in, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.